Hello everyone, Only Draven here again, and today we're doing another tutorial in Minecraft Sky Factory 4. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Fluid Dictionary Converter, which is a component that will allow you to change some fluid, fluids uh, into fluids of a different type, especially from other types of mod. Um, most usefully, uh, this will work when converting experience or liquid experience into some of the fluid essence. Now, if you find this video helpful, and you like it, please be sure to click like. Most importantly, please remember to hit that subscribe button so that way you can see all my videos and tutorials as they come out. All right. So a couple things we'll need. And the first one's going to be the fluid dictionary converter itself. Uh, it's pretty easy to make. It's just going to be three pieces of plastic, two pieces of glass, one machine case, two iron buckets, and an iron gear. Now, we're also going to need an XP Drain Singularity Tank if we're doing the conversion that I'm showing. For that, you'll need a regular Singularity Tank, a hopper, an iron bars, and two Eye of Ender. And I recommend making a couple of the Singularity Tanks themselves. So the process to use these is pretty easy. Um, one of the great perks about this machine, and, and many of the machines from Industrial Foregoing, but this is a great example, it does not require any type of power. So you place it down, you open it up, you'll see that there's no RF or power bar anywhere. This will work without it. You can toggle on whether you want it always active, active with a redstone signal or without. Uh, I usually leave them on always active. And you can pause the process as well right up here in the upper left. Clicking here will show you the different recipes normally in industrial, but for this one, it's a little different. Okay, basically, you're going to start with your original fluid. That's this on the left. And you have three choices. You have essence of knowledge, experience bucket, or essence bucket, or back to nothing. Now, if you choose one of these, then on the right hand side, it's going to let you turn it into the other two items we saw. So the essence of knowledge can be turned into an experience bucket or an essence bucket, basically the fluid, not the bucket specifically, but the fluid. So if we want to, say, convert experience into something, which is what we're going to do today, we just need, first off, to get our experience in here. So there's a couple different ways, of course, to get experience in the game. You can use an XP pylon if you want um, to gather XP from a mob farm. You can use one of these tanks right here, which is the XP Drain Singularity tank. And when you step on that, it's actually going to take the XP out of you and put it inside the tank. Um, so it's a great way to store liquid experience as you can see there's a bunch there now you can always slap an xp tap on here if you want to get it back out again but just by standing on it my experience is going to go down inside of this tank and give us something to start working with all right we're going to use a couple fluid extraction cables from cyclic i'm going to slap one right here and slap one right here so our fluid is going from this tank into the machine and from the machine into this tank if we look here it's not showing that there's any it's because it's paused we turn it back on, pull that experience back up. We've got 5,740 millibuckets. Okay, I'm going to pause it again until we choose what we want to do. On the right hand side, you can choose essence bucket, essence of knowledge bucket. Now, essence bucket's not really easy to get a hold of. This is really one of the only two ways to get a hold of it. Uh, so this is most commonly what I find I would use this machine for, but it'll convert my experience into this. All I have to do is hit that button right there so you see the xp is disappearing now there's nothing in here because it's already flowing over here into this singularity tank so if i was need to get this out i could just take a bucket right click it and it'll pull out a bucket of that fluid for me or if i wanted to i could have this running into a different type of thing like a black hole tank or uh even indirectly into a machine if i was going to use the fluid essence for something specific or essence fluid um, but this is a very easy process to use especially since no rf is needed which is really really nice and if you're looking for this in the jei it's under fluid dictionary converter and with all industrial you can see this little book here clicking on that tells you kind of what we did machines transform similar fluids from different mods you can check the jei for possible recipes you simply need to click on the buttons to select the fluid okay so a pretty easy one today but one you might find helpful i've had a couple requests for showing how to farm uh, fluid essence or to do it you know automated uh, the easiest way to automate this process is literally to replace this tank here with an xp pylon which gathers xp drop from mobs and set that pylon next to a mob farm as the mobs die it'll gather it up in here or in, into the xp pylon and then it'll convert that into a fluid 
into here and then convert out into your um, liquid essence. So you can just let your mob farm gather all that up and do all the converting for you. And best of all, again, this process requires no RF power whatsoever. So it's super easy to run. And you can use different types of fluid tanks as well. I'm just using these ones here. But if you wanted to go and look at the other type of tanks that are available, uh, you can use, of course, the fluid tanks from Mechanism will work. Um, so we also mentioned the black hole tank works perfectly fine. So there's a couple different options for tanks you could use if you wanted to use something other than these. These are just pretty easy ones to make. All right. Okay, then. So... Pretty quick, easy one today, uh, but it was something that was requested, as I mentioned, uh, how to get the fluid essence and how to uh, basically automate it. And this would allow that. So if you have any questions about this tutorial or any of my tutorials, uh, please be sure to put those down in the comments, um, as well as any recommendations or suggestions you may have uh, for other tutorials you'd like to see in Sky Factory 4. I'm always looking for new ideas. Uh, I also stream both here on YouTube and on Twitch. On Twitch, my name is Only Draven Gaming, and I'm over there four or five days a week here on YouTube, a couple. So uh, feel free to check out the schedule on my website, onlydraven.com. And while you're there, you'll find the schedule, links to all my stuff like uh, tutorials, videos, social media accounts, and all that kind of stuff. All right. Hope to see you at uh, one of the uh, streams. Come on by and I'd be happy to answer any questions you have. But that is going to do us for today. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.